Hi, uh, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you once again uh, something by um, a really important luxury house, Hermes. So it's pretty much easy um, because it's a kind of item that everybody's looking for. It comes in a box as usual. So, what I'm going to be reviewing for you today is the Gris Gris Rodeo. So, mine is actually made of uh, rose azalea, as you can see here. And this is actually a blue, I think it's blue sassia. And this one is actually uh, orange poppy. So, as you can see, it pops out quite a lot. So, this is actually the bigger size because they didn't have the small one anymore, but you know. Um, well, I'm going to show you more or less compared to the last one that I uh, reviewed for you guys. So this is my little horse here and I've got this one here. So as you can see the difference is quite big if you look at it. There you go. Uh, of course if you you know wear it on a bag uh, you can see the difference quite uh, clearly. So I have here a bag by Hermes, there you go, which I'll be reviewing a bit after. Um, so as you can see, so it's, where it's really, really kind of big, you know, for a small bag as you can see here. Up oh, there you go. So this is actually a small bag and it's a bit difficult to wear it on a tiny one. This is a Bolly 27, um, I think it's... Okay, but you know, it's a bit too much of a statement, so I would kind of recommend that if you have like a Bullied 27 or a Birkin 25 or 30, not to take this one, uh, because it's quite big. I think I paid something like 450 or a bit less, I can't remember uh, for sure the price that I paid. Um, I'm a bit... Uh, skeptical about the size that I took but I still took it because you know it's not always easy to have a Rodeo uh, charm at Hermes. Um, I did buy a small one um, but I gave it away to a friend of mine because it wasn't matching my bags here. I mean the colors of my bags she has a lot of brown and I don't have much brown. I do have you know, colourful colours or black or uh, a tube, so that's why. Um, still happy about this one. I'm um, still going to be looking after, you know, a smaller version to put on my bags because, well, you know, it's kind of nicer. Um, so do I think uh, that the charm is worth the money? I'll be honest with you, uh, it's a bit pricey for what it is. Um, probably not really worth the amount of money that we are willing to pay however if you want to offer yourself a little gift you know something like this i mean it never hurt anybody apart from your wallet and piss off your banker so yeah i, I still think the price for that item is a little bit much considering you know the amount of work put into it um also i would i would think that this this little charm is probably for the woman who has everything already, as they used to say in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, however, if you've got one bag and you want to cherish the bag and you like to ornate it, then just go for it because it's worth it. Um, so I just wanted to more or less show you, you know, the difference in size. Also, this one is around 160. This one is much more expensive. Um, it's much harder to get the Petit Ash, actually, in a way, because it's only sold in one boutique, I asked. It's only sold at Sèvres. Whereas that one, you can more or less find it, if you're lucky, in most uh, Hermes um, boutiques. So, well, thanks a lot. Hope you're liking my little uh, Rodeo charm. Thank you for watching and see you again very soon. Bye-bye.